Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my NHL 20 franchise mode here in Columbus, Ohio. In the previous episode, we beat the New Jersey Devils. Beat, I mean swept, in four games. Most of them were one goal games. First three were really stressful, but somehow we managed to pull up the W after W after W after W. And we get the first round victory. And as you can see right there, Wise leading the team points with four points in four games, which is uh, kind of strange for this team. We're not the most offensively dynamic team anymore. But in the last video, I checked entire league stats. The Carolina Hurricanes actually lead the league in goals. 316 to our, uh, I can't remember how many, <laughs> how many we had. I can't really recall because I'm terrible at math and remembering short-term memory things. <laughs> but let's go ahead and check out the stats for our boys in round number one. And I'm used to our guys producing a bit more, but it seems it was more spread out. So let's start from the top. Joshua Wah in game number four. We were down th uh, two to one going into the third. Now a lot of a lot of these games were very close up until the very end. Was it two to one? Was that game? Hold on, that was game three. That was game three. He came in very big. Game four was just a wash, four to one, easy victory. Game three, the t turning of the series. We were down two to one in the third period. Very close game. Kavanaugh was doing the best he could, the most he could. And our offense not being as good as, as good as it was, he had to come out big. Joshua Waugh with a two-goal third period was the man of the series. But surprisingly, the fourth-line left winger, Jaden Swanson, two game winners tied with league lead or team lead in points. Actually, there's a five five-way tie for most points on the team. Which means, I think we're doing okay so far. The depth is kind of evening things out. There's guys you wouldn't expect, and there's guys you would expect would do a bit better through four games. But it was a weird series. It was a weird series nonetheless. So Swanson, a good series, and I want to see more of that. Matthew Goring, four points, not bad. Bobby Friesen taking the step I need him to. He's up to an 88 overall. He's going to be the franchise player for the next eight years. Or longer. Eight years is what we have him at. And then he'll be in a uh, UFA. And then it's out of our control, really. Kyler Hemingway, the fourth line centerman. Which I'm very opposed to putting a playmaker centerman on the fourth line. Because they usually do really bad defensively throughout the season. But he was he was kind of level-headed throughout the season. 19 points plus 8. So he wasn't a liability. And he was really good in Cleveland the year before. So I'm glad I gave him that shot. He came up big in that first round. Miranov, the rookie, up to an 83 overall, and I think he is happy after an 81-point season in Cleveland. We pull him up, and he's like, why are you pulling me up? I do so well, we head to AHL playoff. And I'm like, bud, 83 goals in two seasons, in the last two seasons in the AHL? You need a shot, and if we need somebody to take us into the future, it's got to be you, Alexander Miranov. Russian, st I mean, I'm pretty sure he's Russian, if I'm not mistaken. Third line center, he was good. Two big goals in that series. Maxime Proorkin with three. Can't be upset with that. Only one goal, though, so he's, uh, we've been, we're, pa we're a passing team right now. Matthew Savoie, 37 years of age, three assists. So, quietly, one of our better players. Kilo Fan with two. Bullbrook with two in two games. Fragapane with two as well. Kovalev with one goal, one game winner. Two, minus three though. Okay, not the best, but I know he's going to be better throughout these next series. Woodworth with one point in two games. The captain comes back. He's not, not a liability, but I think once he starts to get back into form, he'll be a lot better for us. Defensively, Luke Wheeler, the rookie, who played his first ever NHL games in last year's playoffs. Coming into the league this year, not the best rookie season, but he was playing along Stu Cam, 
who actually had two points as well, so there's a three-way tie for first for D-Men. He was good. He was actually really reliable. Him and Stu Cam are a really solid pairing. It's sad to see that Stu Cam is going to retire this season or next. He's going to retire soon. There's no doubt about that. A thousand point defenseman to a ten point defenseman. It's a weird comparison, but I see very a lot of similarities between the two of them. Abel Carlos with two minus one though. Eh. Harold Harrington with one goal, shooting at uh, ten percent, which is <laughs> which is really good. One goal, one point, I'll take it. Walker Farmer with one point and Jarvin with one point as well. But Harrington and Jarvin were really solid as a defensive... No, they weren't a defensive pairing, were they? No, Jarvin was on the top line. If I'm not mistaken. I, I can't really remember. Goaltending! Kavanaugh, I know his stats say he wasn't as good, but the first three games being one goal, a one goal affair... It's safe to say that he was one of our player, better players that round. It's, I mean, first two games, yikes. Giving up a three-goal lead in the first game and a two-goal lead in the second game. That's not what you really want to see, but he kept us in it for as long as he could. We won the games, but it could have been a different series nonetheless. But today, we will be facing... The Carolina Hurricanes, and I want to see what's so special about them. They beat the Washington Capitals. I was looking to have some revenge on them, but I guess we'll have to look to another year. What are the Carolina Hurricanes looking like? One of the best teams in the NHL. Okay, okay, I see what they're looking like. First line center in Jim McKinley, 32 years of age. He's been on this team his entire career, second overall pick in 2027. He's pretty on a decent contract, $8 million for the next three years, 73 points. I get it. He's a good goal scorer. Then you got Ricard Tikkanen, and I have a feeling this guy's their, their workhorse. He's a playmaker for sure. I get why that pairing works. And then you got Brody Kersale, 27 years of age, third overall pick in 2031, last decade, 10 years ago. I get it. 67 points. I hmm, There's... Their scoring must be more spread out than I thought because they scored the most goals in the league, if I'm not mistaken. But that's a good first line. I get why they're here. They they look to be really, really good defensively, and I and I understand. They just defended their way to a victory in the first round. Then you got Alex Sestito, 35 years of age, former Montreal Canadian. Not a bad player there. Then you got Glenn Fitzmorris. So this top six is a lot older. And they're more in tune to their senses. But, oh, as I say that, the first overall pick three or two drafts ago, technically. And a former Calder, tr uh, former Calder Trophy winner last year. 59 points. He actually missed his entire first NHL season. He would have played, but apparently he got hurt, and I'm not sure why. I wish you could go through injury history in this game. Just add that, where I can check what happened here, what happened there. It wouldn't be too hard to program into it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm sure that wouldn't be too hard. First overall pick, he is a beast. Third line, you got Antoine Anthony Desroyers. <laughs> He looks to be a solid player. So their center depth is really, really good. And as have you as you've seen throughout this so many playoff videos, too many to count. If you have a good center depth, there is a good chance you're gonna go far because centers really hold the line and really define how you're gonna do. As what I've seen. There are weird cases where you have an 81 overall center and he's better than everybody else on the team, but Having, a, having an 85 overall uh, centerman should not weaken you, right? His wingers are Bedrich Siklenka, and you got Raymond Fenton, fourth line Jaspers, Perozogan, and Dadanov. Pretty, pretty solid forward core, but did they waste all their money on offense? Defense, you know what, considering what... The New Jersey Devils defense looked like this is miles ahead of where they were. Tommy Martinick. Oh, why did I say Martinick? <laughs> Tommy Martikainen, 24 years of age. How much is he worth? 
Oh, he's going to make $5 million after this year. Easy. Viktor Denisov. Not a bad defenseman, but obviously, as you can see right here, we have the better defense. Then you got Ramio Norena, former Columbus Blue Jacket pick. Uh, I remember when we we uh, traded up in the draft to select him because he was similar to Z Zdeno Chara, and then he turned out to be a bust because he wouldn't develop at all. Telusti, Backstrom, and Trojanovic. You know what? It's a bit way better than what the New Jersey Devils had, considering they lost a Christopher. They're, they have a better defense, so their offense and their defense are really solid. It always comes down to goaltending. What's it looking like? Oh, no. Oh, no. For, two former Columbus Blue Jackets in goal. That is not good. So, Albert Mester, actually second in the league with wins. 42, 19, and 6. 9, 11 save percentage. One of the better goalies in the league. I'm happy for him. But on the other hand, uh, I hope he just is a bust. He's, he was our backup there for a few years. Let's see. We traded him to Montreal, and then he ends up in Carolina, obviously. He was really he was pretty solid for us in that one. We only had him on the roster for one year. That's it? Hmm. Funny. You got uh, Kirk Giordano. So two former Blue Jackets in goal. That scares me a lot. You know why? Because EA Voodoo, scratch players. You got Kress, Backstrom. No injuries on this team. I get why they're here. Backed by strong goaltending. Uh, meh defense, but better than teams I've seen before. And a very, very strong defensively minded forward core. So, game number one. We have home ice throughout the entirety of the playoffs. Let's see... How we fare against the Hurricanes. First, first game, first period. Let's see if it's a little bit different than round number one. Here we go. Zero to zero. Close game. Shots are in our favor. 12 to nine. In the last round, we were never leading shots ever. New Jersey was just uh, trampling over us in the shot department. Okay. It's as even as you can get. Nil nil. Heading into the second period we get the advantage Matthew Savoie ripe old age of 37 gets on the board quite early shots are still in our favor 22 to 14 it's a close one third period underway come on slowly but surely Matthew Savoie his second of the evening power play can we make it three make it three can he complete the hat trick here it's still a close game I know I'm worrying about frivolous things but three goals can we get the third goal? Is two enough to take game number one? Desoriers late into the game. Plenty of time left to even this thing up. Joshua Waugh with the empty netter. And we win a close game number one, but it was in our favor the majority of the time. Master with the second star. He was really good. Kavanov was good as well. Matthew Savoie, big, big game for you right there, bud. Wah with a solid game as well. I've yet to see Jeffrey Woodworth's name. Doesn't scare me at all because I know he's an impact player when we need him to be. But they're all getting older. I'll take the W. Game number two. See how it goes. See how it goes. First period. Okay. High scoring period there. Abel Carlos starts off the scoring pretty early. Curseale ties it. Kovalev takes the lead and then Mark DeKainen ties it so shots are in our favor 14 to 11 goalies have not particularly been good second period oh we go off baby two straight goals for Khalil Fallon that is big 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 when I force you on the third line you come out and you are huge for us Kovalev with his second of the evening after a really rough first round for him I believe that's his that would be his third goal. Did he score in game number one of this series? I can't really recall. I don't think he did. So that's three goals in the playoffs so far. I'll take it. Five to two. Shots are in our favor by one. 24 to 23. Third period. Here we go. Just hold on. Don't give them anything. Don't, get, don't take a penalty. Don't take anything stupid. MP3 gets on the board. It's six to... I spoke too soon. Walker Farmer makes it seven 
to... Okay, spoke too soon. McKinley on the power play. 7-3 in our favor. We should walk away with the game. 2-W, Joshua Waugh scores the goal. He is on fire so far in the playoffs. Just when you forget he's there, he reminds you why he's one of the best of all time. Yuri Kovalev with the first star. That's what I need to see from this offense. You know, me thinking we're getting older, the offense is not what it used to be. I don't know what I'm thinking. I know this team is very offensively capable. We can win games 3-1, but we could also crush them 8-7, you know. And I saw that a lot this season. There were plenty of games where we would win 7-6 and win a game 3-1. A W is a W. It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you win. Game number three, a chance to take a stranglehold here at the PNC Arena in North... North Carolina? Carolina. I want to say North Carolina. Rayleigh? Rayleigh? Ah, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. First period. It's 2-2 two to two yet again. Same scoring as the... As game number two. Stanton, Shorty, ugh, Kurt Ko, uh, Kovalev. Gets a little bit of redemption there on the power play. Fallon makes it 2-1. Sestito ties it under a minute left in the period. Shots are in our favor. 14-9. Second period. Okay, one goal apiece. To Lusty. Or breaks the lead. Or takes the lead. 3-2 <laughs> for Carolina, but MP3 comes up big with a minute 27 Left in the second period. Third period, shots are in our favor, 24-22. to 22. You don't care about that, you care about the score. Let's see. It's dead even so far. Power play early for Carolina. Five on three at one point. McKinley on the power play. There's no way. That's a heart. Oh, Backstrom scores. It's 5-3 to three Carolina. Yep. It's a wash. Another pe Who the hell is taking penalties this late? Kovalev making a game. On the power play. Can we tie this thing up, boys? We have time to do it. 240 remaining. Come on. Can we get a little clutch? McKinley gets the empty netter. A close game there. 6-4. to four. A Rough game for the goalies all around, but Mester gets the best of us. McKinley with the first star. Kovalev with another two-goal game. Okay, that was rough. I'm not going to lie. So the series is now is still in our favor. We had a chance there to take a 3-0 series lead. They take one in Carolina. So home teams are undefeated in this series so far. Let's see if we can get, get back on the winning way here. Let's take commanding 3-1 series lead in Carolina. First period. I spoke too soon, Kavanaugh. You gotta go and do something like that to me. Really. 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 McKinley scores pretty early on the power play. F power play. I can't speak. Fenton makes it a two-goal game in Backstrom late in the period. Kavanaugh, what a terrible game. Terrible, terrible game. You should be pulled after that. Yikes. Second period. Nope, there's no way we get back into this one. What a god-awful performance from this team. From goaltending to offense to defense, there's nothing... There's no positives to come out of this game. They will tie the series. Woodworth gets on the board a little too late there. It's first of the postseason. Power play late. Kovalev, can we get... Come on. We still have time. No? Long power play there. Two power play goals, but for the majority of the game, it was all Carolina. Mester with a really good game. So that is not what I like to see. Two straight wins for the home teams. Or four straight wins for the home teams. Series is split 2-2. Two to two. Now it's a best of three. Do I make changes? Who has been bad? Who has been worse? Uh, Miranov, you've been kind of quiet so far. I mean, 5 points through 8 games is a rookie. Like, has a two-way forward too, so you're not a liability. Right? Do I put Fallon? No, MP3 has been good. No. Going... Ah, I'm so... Swanson's down to a 77 overall. He's not... He hasn't even been that bad. Do we try Rodriguez? I'm going with R Rodriguez. He's technically a fourth-line forward. He's a two-way forward as... Or he's a power... He's a two-way forward. We'll go with Rodriguez there. Fragapane 
He's a plus three. Okay, I'll try that. I gotta go with it. Do I go with something like that? No. Thank you. The house is making sounds now. Do I go with... Ah, uh, Harrington. No, I'm gonna keep it like that. Okay, we just gotta keep going. Series is tied. It's a best of three. I have to trust this team. We are good. Kovalev has been dynamite this series so far, scoring plenty of goals. We, need to ju we just need to outscore them. That's how you win games. <laughs> Game number five. Best of three. Here we go. I'll take it so far. McKinley opens the scoring pretty early. Luke Wheeler, the rookie, takes the... Or ties the game. Oh, and Kovalev. What did I say? Is that six goals in the second round? I see. Six goals, three two-goal games so far. Kovalev on the power play. Kovalev, 20 seconds remaining. Second period. You know what? I'll take it. Martinick makes it... 3-2, to two. so they get close, but Matt Goring makes it 4-2, to two. and then Kovalev completes the hat trick. He has been the MVP this round so far. Third period, hold it down. Shots are still in our favor. Pretty close in that department, but Siklenka scores pretty early. We still have a game power play. Come on, you gotta capitalize. Matthew Savoie, the Art Ross winner, the potentially two straight... MVP winner. Did I even say that right? I'm not sure. We will take a 3-2 series lead heading back to Carolina. But you know the home teams are undefeated in this round so far. Kovalev with the first star. This is exactly why we acquired him. We know he's a bona fide goal scorer in this league. We head to game number six. We're on their home ice. Home teams are undefeated. Let's break the mold a bit. Let's break the mold. Game number six. Here we go. First period. And it's two to nothing. The captain on the board early. The captain and then Joshua Waugh. The old guys doing exactly... What they know how to do. They've been in this position plenty of times before. Shots, we almost doubled them up 13 to 7. Second period. Four to nothing! MP3 makes it 3 0. Kovalev with. What goal is this? What goal is this in this round? Oh my god! He has ripped Carolina apart, and they're gonna be having nightmares for the foreseeable future. Do we walk into the Eastern Conference Finals yet again? How many times have we done this? There's no way you blow this game, and if you blow this game, you deserve to lose this series, and there's no doubt about that. Power play pretty late. No goal there. Four to nothing. We will take game number six, and we are headed... De De Rosier breaks the shutout, but nonetheless... We are headed back to the Eastern Conference Finals. I already know who we're playing. Woodworth with the first star. Captain comes in clutch when we need him the most. And exact that's exactly what I said at the start of the video. We will be facing the Buffalo Sabres, I think for the first time ever, in the playoffs. What's the West looking like? Chicago and Vancouver, two teams we've faced in the finals before, but we have to get there first. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this one, please leave a like, leave a comment, share with people who you think may enjoy this sort of thing. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.